Thank you, Jesus. Fast colors and promises. How to be brave. How can I love when I'm afraid to fall? But watching you stand. Jim, we love you too, brother. <laughs> I just want to say that I have known Denise for almost 10 years. I love her dearly. I wish her every happiness in the world. I wasn't so sure about James when I first met him. <laughs> With his crazy hair and his crazy glasses. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> They will have a long and happy life together. So Den Denise, I wish you every happiness in the world. And James, you cherish her because she's one of a kind, okay? Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to give a toast to these guys. You know, I've known Denise for a long, long time. You probably saw a picture on her gift table out there. And that was a picture that uh, she was our flower girl at our wedding. And gosh, I gotta tell them, 40 years ago? Now you tell me that she doesn't look like a princess. I, and tonight she looks just as beautiful in her own wedding. And man, hats off to you, Denise. I've, uh, anyway, during all this time, 40 years, Denise has gone through a lot. And it, I've been so proud to see her tough things out and move forward. Yes. And then suddenly, was it four years ago or so, she met this guy named James. <laughs> and the yeah, the hammer. <laughs> so we come down to San Diego, and, and I'm immersed in the same kinds of things that uh, the last lady talked about. These 
big glasses and this big hair. And I'm going, who is this guy? He's a California guy, isn't he? And, but um, as soon as I met him, I knew that he was something special. He, uh, he really exhibited just, you know, he's a pro in what he does at work. Just a real class act. And every time we've been down here, it's been one class act after another. And today's ceremony was no, uh, boy, no second fiddle. This was unreal. So I, you know, I wish you and Linda and Brenda wish you both the best of futures. You guys are a beautiful couple. And man, everything to you. Big toast. Yay! You know, and you know, a wedding day it wouldn't be quite right if there wasn't something kind of out of the ordinary. Well, we got a call about 10.30 this morning, and Denise goes, you can't believe this. I was down getting breakfast, and uh, you know what you do. They got this toast machine. It's like a little conveyor belt. I put my white bread on there, and it's floating up in there. I figured, yeah, I'm going to get some cereal here or some yogurt. It's one of the natural ingredients that I eat. And uh, come back here, and the toast is going to be browned up, and I'm good to go. So she walked over and looked at it. It was still white. And she goes, ah. Put it back on the conveyor belt, and it was rolling through the machine to brown up. And she got another nibble to work on. She went back, and it was still white. She goes, ah. I'm going to put this back through. The third time she put it back through, it got mangled in the machine. <laughs> Suddenly... It started smoking. Suddenly the, the, the red lights start, you know, the fire alarm went off. So, you know what? A lot of people would have freaked out. You know what Denise did? She just laughed. She said, you know what? This is perfect on my wedding day. But you know what? That's what I was gonna say, but I, I didn't want James to kick my ass. But yeah, she is smoking out. But, San Diego Fire Department had something for her, for her incredible courage this morning. An honorary fire hat, so there you go, Denise. Anyway, congratulations, you guys are beautiful. There, there was an expression that great minds think alike. And, yeah. Right on. This is, this is for you, Denise. This is your one chance to catch a bouquet at this event. So here we go. On the count of three. One. Two. Three. Oh. All right. That counts. Doesn't matter how you get it. Okay, we need all the single guys up here right now.